assistant. So Fubo Tutorial is a great music player and we can customize everything from scratch. So if you go to Fuba 2000 website, uh, it will provide you with this uh, download option. We can choose from one of these architectures. So I'm currently running a full 64-bit architecture uh, as a processor and operating system. So we'll go, go ahead with 64-bit architecture. Once downloaded, so the installation is pretty uh, simple. You can go we can agree the terms and conditions and it will ask you to choose the install type. So there are two installation types. One is standard and portable. So standard is basically it will install the FUBAR into your local account. So if you go ahead with the portable installation, it will create a folder and extract all the executable files into that folder and the data folder as well. So you can move the folder wherever you want and you can uh, run the FUBAR in different multiple computers. So currently I'll go ahead with the standard installation. So once you have installed it, it will show you with these uh, preloaded templates which you can select. Uh, if you don't want to select any of the preloaded template, you can just click on cancel and it will show you with this empty blank screen. So from here, we need to configure everything uh, by our own. So uh, here we have to use the concept called as containers. So every element or every um, thing which we want to control, it will be in a container. So uh, if you click on view and layout, we have to enable the editing layout. So from here, if you right click on any empty space, it will show you with this context menu where we can add any specific element. So you need to click on replace UI element. Initially, we need to split the entire space using the splitter section in the containers, containers category. So uh, there are two splitters, one is left and right and one is bottom and top. So if you click on left and right, if you click on left and right, it will split the entire screen vertically, which is left and right containers. And if you click on top and bottom, it will, it will create horizontal containers to our, in the top and bottom sections. So uh, initially, I, will, uh, I do have a view of how my music library has to appear and how my music players has to um, operate. So, so I will go with splitter left and right. I will click on OK. It will provide you with a divider bar which we can move as per our wish. So in the left section, I do want one more splitter. So uh, here I want my music library to appear and here I want the uh, music files properties to be appear. In the right side, I want a, a lyric panel to be appeared as well as an album art and few visualization uh, graphs. So what I will do is I will split even more. So uh, top and bottom. So I will go with this and I want to split into vertically. So uh, I want the lyrics to be appeared in the middle and album art to be appeared in the right side. So, um, and I do, I do want a couple more visualizers. Uh, no, I want horizontally. If you have mistakenly added a splitter and you want to remove it, uh, just give a left click and then right click. Plus click to cut the UI element. So it will go, to, go back to the previous stage. You can add a new element, a new container after. Okay, so after dividing the entire empty space section, now we want to add the elements. So on the top left, I want my playlist to be appear, like all the music files. Um, let me add some music files so you can understand how it will look like. So this is playlist view and uh, we can modify the columns as we want. For example, I don't want the track number, you can remove that. Okay. and here i want the properties to be appear and we can click on section properties and if you select based if you select the music file it will appear the properties based upon the music file and in the right hand section i want uh, album art to be appear okay that's just looking fine so i did mention that i want lyrics to be appeared in the middle so there are specific plugins for that. So if you go to the components uh, repository of the foo bars, 
it will show you all the updated as well as all the available um, all the available add-ons that you can use you can navigate through all the add-ons and based upon your liking you can just download and double click on that it will automatically install it to the fubar so these are two of my favorite add-ons that i want to use one is lyric player and one is a uh, waveform minibar so if you just double click on it it will ask you to install and if you click on apply it will automatically restart let me install the other one as well okay so you can navigate to preferences and navigate to tools to see whether the plugins has been installed or not and uh, there is a plugin manager which you can also uh, there should be somewhere else yeah if you click on components it will show you all the installed plugins and uh, these are the defaults so these are some of the defaults plugins that will install automatically mm -hmm. and these two are the plugins which i have installed okay now i want the lyric player to be appeared here if you just left click on it it will ask you to add a new element and in the utility section it will show you the lyric panel and uh, there is some more thing to configure um, so i do have music files as well as lyric files in the same directory so we have to change the source of the files that they are being searched so there is a storage directory and you have to modify the search directory to be as same as the music file and the search format to be modified so all my lyric files are modified as per the music files which are just title alone so i will just remove the artist so it will it will preview what it is supposed to be searched and if you click on apply let me reduce the sound so i won't be taken down by youtube so if you want uh, so if you are searching for music it will if there is any lyric file uh, so it will take it as a priority by first and if there is no music file then it will search with some of the sources so these are these are some of the by default sources and you can add more sources you can add more sources from the right side and there is some music sex match as well we can um, modify the api of music we can get the api of the music sex match and configure the music sex match to be appeared here as well i mean the lyrics and we can configure the entire theme of it by go to going to preferences display and go into colors and fonts for example if i want to show the entire text as white and background as black and the section selection so this is the selection uh, thing which we want to modify and if i want it as green and highlights to be as red we click on apply it will change the entire theme of it let me pause it and uh, i did install another plugin called as wave for wave form a bar uh, i can add it here and i want some more visualization like like the spectrum let me change the bench to 160 uh, so if i yeah this looks good You can, you can change the font size of entire foobar as well as the lyric player for example if you only want to change the font size of lyric player you can click on the open lyrics the display and enable the custom font and increase the font size to 12 we'll increase so there are a lot of people on internet who does better job than me but uh, this is some of the basic configurations which I am doing day to day.